The Pokemon world is filled with many fantastical creatures. From the vast lands, to the depths of the seas, and the limitless skies, it truly is an amazing world. However, there's another amazing world with creatures just as fantastic. Your world. The planet is filled with amazing creatures that have unique and impressive abilities. My name is Ranger Rai, and I'm here to help bridge the gap between the Pokemon world and your world. So please, join me as we go through my Ranger Logs and we talk about Pokemon and their real-world inspirations. When it comes to the Pokemon world, it can be hard to determine which species can be a predator due to how powerful they become and their amazing moves and abilities. Flying-type Pokemon have a history of being quick, agile, and quite intimidating under most circumstances. One of the best examples of this is the native flying type of Sinnoh, Star Raptor. Thanks to research and studying of this Pokemon's natural habitats, we were able to help compare and gather information to help break down inspiration from the real world. Star Raptor actually seems to have a few real world inspirations, however the most prominent seem to come from the Birds of Prey section of Avians, but I'll touch on that a little bit later. Now, most influences for this Pokemon seem to come from the Starling family of birds, where the name and suffix star in the Pokemon's evolutionary line comes from, specifically the white-cheeked Starling. Looking at a young Starly and a Starling, it's clear to see the influences. However, Starlings are not birds of prey and are in fact songbirds. However, as a Starly grows and evolves, it seems to then take on traits from birds of prey. Now, what is a bird of prey? Well, birds of prey can usually be identified by these common traits. A large size, a sharp, usually curved beak, and a large, powerful pair of talons. Now, as Starly evolves into a Staravia, it actually does gain some of these traits, gaining a bigger size, larger talons, and a sharper beak. Now, Staravia actually gains this unusual cowlick on its head, However, this is probably due to it taking some inspiration from the Northern Lapwing, which itself does look like a bird in between two growing stages. However, the large feathers on his head actually seem to take other inspiration from another bird, a bigger bird, that I'll be covering in just a moment. One thing I really want to discuss is the incredible similarities between these two birds, and that's their cries. A Staravia has a whistling, whooping cry that sounds a bit similar to a Lapwing's own Petweet cry. It's honestly incredible. Also, at this stage, Staravia gains the ability Intimidate, which cuts the attack of the opposing Pokemon when Staravia enters the battle. This ability might actually be due to the oncoming Bird of Prey influences I mentioned earlier, as well as the increase in size Staravia gets. However, when a Staravia fully evolves into a Star Raptor is where all of these claims are fully realized. When fully evolved, Star Raptor completely embraces the Bird of Prey motif, complete with a larger, more powerful pair of talons, a much larger and sharper beak, and it now has clearly doubled in size since it was just a little Starly. On top of this, its top feathers have now seemed to have straightened out and add a little extra size to its head, helping to improve its dominance, something it seems to have gotten from the long-crested eagle. However, that's the only thing it seems to receive from this species, as the rest almost entirely come from the harpy eagle family, including its color and intimidating glare. However, the most important part of a Star Raptor's kit is its cry, which comes from a completely different bird family, the hawk. If you have ever heard a bird screech on TV or in movies, most of the time it's going to be a hawk's cry. Usually sounding like a loud screech, this is one of the hawk's most notable traits. <coughs> However, it only makes sense that a songbird Pokemon gains a more powerful cry upon fully evolving. Now, I quickly want to discuss some of Star Raptor's moves, comprising of quite a few physical attack moves like takedown, wing attack, and especially fighting type moves like Final Gambit and Close Combat. These moves make all the more sense when you realize that a bird of prey might become more powerful and capable of taking down larger opponents. As you can see, Close Combat is used a lot with Star Raptor's large talons, which is quite similar to real avians when faced with a confrontation. It's pretty amazing how much the Pokemon world and the real world overlap, isn't it? Just goes to show how similar things are if you take a closer look. But either way, this has been a lot of valuable data for my Ranger Log. 
I'll have more for you guys next time, but until then, feel free to leave a comment on which Pokemon I should talk about next time. Until then, keep exploring the world, guys.